I am Julia Walker from Bill's Soil Studio. Today we're going to look at how we're going to cut the blouse to be worn with either a skirt or a pants. On the board, I have drawn for you the rectangle outlining the blouse back. To get your AB and your CD, this line and this line, you're going to use quarter of the hip measurement plus 1.5. Your AC and your BD will be the length of the blouse back, that's to your waist, and then you'll add 20 centimeters. Now this can vary depending on how much do you, to the length of the blouse you need. You will take from your waist down to the length of the blouse you need. Now notice I right here, if your bust is the bigger of the two, because we normally use the bust or the hip. If your bust is a bigger of the two, your AB will have been quarter of the bust plus the seam allowance. All right, so you must have the seam allowance on it. All right. Now, basic construction lines, your across back line, your bust line, and your waist line. And then this is your 20, so this will be your hip line. Those are your construction lines. Then you're going to put in your neckline, seven centimeters across, three centimeters down, neckline, half your shoulder, plus 1.5. Then you come down for K, which is four centimeters. Then you're going to join your K to J to E to give you the armhole. And remember, you have to do this. So this would have been J here, all right? So you get your armhole. Now to get the shape of the side, we come in two and a half centimeters smaller than your bust. And then you're going to shape the side of your skirt from there. Soften this area, so you don't have a pull in when you're, when you're wearing your, your blouse. So what you have here then is the top of the, this will be your 20, the top of your blouse and the top of your skirt. So both of them are put together. Now if you want to make your blouse fitted like the one that I'm wearing, then you'll put your darts in. All right, so you'll have your darts. Now the two darts will be used, your skirt dart and your blouse dart. You'll use your dart if you're going to be fitting the garment. Okay. Now remember, once you get the back done, you use the back as a pattern to cut your front. So if you want the front of the open, you will have to put the allowance to open your front. If the front of the blouse is not open, then you need just one centimeter for ease over your breast. Okay, so this is the outline for the blouse to be worn with a skirt or with a pants. I hope you enjoy my presentation. Thanks for watching and give me a thumbs up.